Hello, AKA here. How many people can say that they have a Friendship 10 Klee? Not that many. Klee is a very cute character. I like cute things, so I rolled for Klee. I remember watching her character demo to see a little kid commit mass bombings on local victims. I love it. Hey, hey, hey. What's the plan today? Well, I'm glad you asked. The plan here is to rebuild my Klee because I don't use Klee anymore. <gasps> what? What did you say? I thought you said Klee was a main. Yeah, yo, 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 I, I don't use her anymore because they shut up. <laughs> For weapons, probably gonna go Solar Pearl because it, 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 crit. Wait, I have this book. I'll probably build it later. Why did I go Skyward Atlas? I don't feel like it. First, we're gonna need some artifacts. We're gonna need some constellations. No. No, we don't. We're gonna need a lot of talent. We're gonna need a lot of Mora. Lucky for me, I have a little bit of Mora. You think I have an artifact set just for Cleese? Hell no! You know I'm stealing other people's artifacts. Thank you. We need a little bit of crit damage. I see a lot of potential. <laughs> potential pyro goblets in here so i'm gonna try my luck with rolling them and if it doesn't work out <laughs> this is what your typical pyro damage goblet looks like what is that can i get a crit just need the flower and we're done. I just don't have a goblet. My goblet now. So these are my stats right now. They're they're pretty decent. Okay. Now I will say that I have solar pearl. So it gives me more crit rate. Which means that I don't have to artifact as much. So yeah, I love crit rate weapons. Because weapons that give you crit cover up your shitty artifacts. So what's my team? Well, I'm going to make my team very uh, beginner friendly. I'm not going to go fucking 10 million five stars, John Lee, Venti. We're going to need some water. We're going to need Bob the Bill. We're going to need Sucrose. Let me explain. Let me explain. Bennett. Vaporize. Viridescent Vin, Vin Diesel. With that being said, I think it's about time we make ourselves into the overworld. Ugh. Ugh, I don't do any damage. Oh. Hello. Oh. oh, what the fuck is going on over here? <laughs> I can't tell if if Klee killed them or if my 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 team killed. Sixteen million vaporized. She <laughs> oh twenty seven. Jumpy Dumpty, how about you Jumpy Dumpty yourself? Moving on, we got the Cryo Regisvine, everybody's favorite target dummy. I'm gonna proceed to beat the living shit out of it. I'm gonna be honest, this flower isn't even that hard to kill, but y yeah. I, I, I don't think Flower should have rights. Moving on to my next target, I'm gonna be trying how Clay fares against the Hilly Churl and the big ass Hilly Churl. I've always wondered what people thought about Bennett in Character Showcase because I feel like everyone and their grandma has the Bennett in their team. So at this point, is it a Clay Showcase or is it a Bennett Showcase? But I mean, who doesn't have a Bennett, right? Everyone has a Bennett. Everyone uses Bennett, so I feel like Putting Bennett on a character showcase is, is fine to me. Now, you can't have two Bennett's. I'm going to do the exact same thing like last time, but this time, I'm just going to use Klee. Now, I know that I have, I'm have i using... Yeah, I haven't played Klee in years, and after picking her back up, I just remembered that 
She's fucking hard to play. This might be the hardest character in Genshin because every time I play Klee, I have a stroke on the keyboard because my hands, they have to input the max amount of keyboard presses in like one second. I'm out here pressing like 20 million. Ugh! I'm out here pressing like 20 different keys at the same time. And you need to like manage your stamina. Charge attack is really important. You got to dodge or you die in one hit and you got to animation cancel. I'm pretty sure most Klee mains don't even know what animation canceling is, but she's hard as shit to play. If one big hilly trail is this hard, can you imagine managing three other characters on your team and also Abyss? This isn't gonna end well. Here I am to face the hardest floor in Genshin Impact and I just missed my E. Here I am popping my ultimate to kill all of the, the, the water pigs. I'm actually doing a lot of damage. What? What? Oh! Oh! I don't even know what I'm doing. I'm just mashing a bunch of buttons and hoping that everything just dies. And so far is working out. I mean, hey, like you see these water chickens? They're water chick not. Imagine playing this on mobile. I, I, I don't know. Like, I, I think this is impossible. There's so much shit going on that I, I'm, I'm going to have a, a, um, an eye overdose. These guys might be pretty easy to play against, but they're so annoying. These fucking ugu ugu booga bunga boing boing bing bing. I I fucking hate these rock. You know what they say? To succeed is to fail. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna fail a shit ton of time. I don't know about you guys, but I'm feeling a little bit Christmassy up here. Just let me see the damage. 20k, 20k, 8k, one one million. Every day is. Christmas. Christmas. Activate the Bennett ultimate. Activate the water. Now we switch over and we just kill him. Oh, did I see a 54k? Did I see a 54k? No, I didn't. Can I get a rewind? Can I get a rewind on that? I just realized I'm using Sing Chu against water enemies, but it don't matter. It don't matter. I vaporized Choto, mate. How about we go for a quick damage check? Like how about we go for a 42k? Or maybe, how about we go for a spicy 32k? And then we switch to the ultimate, and we go a little bit crazy. And then how about, boom, look at that, 16k. Name me a character that could flip enemies like they're a burger. You can't because it's a Klee special. And look at me, I'm just bombing the shit out of this guy. Do not bomb your neighbors, that's actually really bad. But look at me, I'm just dodging left and right. You can't even hit me because I'm so good. And look at that, we won. <laughs> I'm dead. Give me a second, guys. Give me a second. I need to upgrade my solar pearl real quick. Do you guys hear that? That's the sound of all the broke bitches around me. I could feel myself getting a little bit stronger with the cost of what? Like a few hundred K of Mora? That's like nothing to me. And there we have it. A max rank solar pearl. Now, it's a shame that you can't get this weapon as a free to play. Not my fault. I like to pay to win. Here I am farming one of the worst domains in Genshin. Not because it's hard, but it's just fucking annoying with how many ice cubes are falling on your head. And like, you can't even move half the time because you got no stamina. Like, can we stop this? Can we stop this? <laughs> Sorry, I let my inner demon get out. Sometimes when I get mad, I like to bark at things. Don't ask why, just accept it. Ladies and gentlemen, we're about to play a game called How Far Can You Knock the Abyss Mage? I'm gonna first start off with a hole in one. That's a fantastic one. How about another one for good time's sake? Boom, hole in sinker. Another one, An just like DJ Khaled once said. And how about we just finish him off by killing every single Abyss Mage on the planet? How about we just kill them all off? Just kill every single one. We did a we did a little bit of domain farming, but honestly, I can't stand that talent book domain anymore. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna start believing because believing is how miracles happen. You see, you could farm books or you could just get them for free. Come on. Come on, just for good time's sake. How many times has this fucked me over? I never get any free books. But today I do because it's a library. After all, we get free books every goddamn day. <gasps> what are these Mora prices? Were talents always this expensive? Huh, I happen to have just enough gold books to level 8 every single talent. Now that's what I call... I don't know. Here I am facing against myself. Get it? We're both child. So I'm facing myself because I'm also a child. 
This is where you laugh. You guys remember when Child used to be hard? I remember when this guy came out, I was like sweating my ass off trying to kill him because he was so difficult to kill, right? But now he's just so easy to play and I don't know, like... He's not he's not as hard as he used to be. I guess you can say I'm the better child after all. <laughs> I'm depressed. What the dog do? I'm gonna pop my ultimate to see how much damage I do on my normal attacks and charge attack. And so far, we're doing like 4k auto attacks. Uh, charge attack looking like 14k, which is... It's decent. It's nothing too amazing. Well, that's not really amazing as well. Now, this is where shit hits the fan. You see, Genshin, it's a team game. Why do you think there's four characters in a team? There's no I in team. Like... You see, when you play this game, you gotta utilize your supports. While Klee on her own is kind of eh. Klee with supports. Look at me. I don't care what the dog is doing. The dog is fucking dead. Now, I'm getting really tired of killing monsters. So how about we switch up our focus and we kill humans because I hate humans. So first off, we're gonna switch to the Klee ultimate. And then we're just gonna do a quick vaporize for 52. Like, then she does 50k vaporize. Like she does a little bit of damage, okay? But hey, isn't that just every pyro character? You have a pyro character? Just slap on Sing Chu. Boom, boom. Pyro character? Boom. Water. There you go. Vaporize yourself to victory. Be honest with me. Who actually farms this piece of shit rock? You guys remember when this guy came out? He was so tanky. And he did so much damage. Because back then, I did no damage. My Klee was using 4 star dollar store artifacts. And budget boogaloo weapons. And because Xiao came out and I wanted Xiao. And I had Xiao. I had to kill this guy a million times. Because Xiao needed the stones from this guy. He needed the rocks. And so I had to spend the whole day killing this guy. Over and over. And guess what? I did no damage and so every run took like five minutes right and because i had to kill him a lot to get the stones that took 10 hours that it took like it took so long and i hated it so much but nowadays i'm killing this guy in under a minute with Klee. he's like budget as the huh cryo hypostasis no you silly goose this is not a new boss in fact this is already in the game so far we've killed monsters humans what about cubes Let's see how that will go. I think this is going to be a pretty long stretched out fight. So it's probably going to take a long time to kill the cube. Never mind. Just a just a fun fact for people fighting like this cube monster. But if you stand close to the cube, you can actually kill the cube in all three uh, bowling ball thingies. Because usually what, what people do is when they fight the cube, they stand far back. And so it means that the, the bowling balls need to travel way longer. So you can't really like one tap it on the first try. You usually just knock the first two and then wait for the third one in the next round. But if you stand close enough, you can do all three. You're welcome. Here I am facing against one of the scariest bosses in Mondstadt. Storm Terror, the Valen. Every time I hear that name, shivers goes down my spine. I get traumas. I get... N I... I... Uh, uh, Oh, don't speak of that name! Storm Terror the Valen! You go away right now! So, a lot of people cannot clear the abyss, and it's because of three things. One, you can't be fucked. Two, you have no artifacts. Three, you play like shit. Now, I'm here to address this shit part. Now, I don't want to hear you say, yeah, I can do it, but I'm too lazy. No, no, no. You can't do it. And that's fine. That's why I'm here. Call me Sensei. You might not have the characters. You might not have the artifacts. It doesn't matter. What I'm teaching you is a life skill. I want you to imagine that your enemies are like fishes. And just like fishing, we gotta bait in our enemies. So right here, I'm using Bennett to lure in my enemies into a corner. After the fishes have been entrapped, I use Sucrose to bundle them up so that it's easier to hit all of them because they are stacked. Because Klee has a knockback on her charge attack, you want your fishes to be next to a wall so you don't have to waste any time or stamina catching up to them. Compare the corner technique with no technique and you quickly see the power of corner gaming and how easy it makes your life in the abyss. You're welcome, disciples. Can we cut to the next clip? Let me show you why corner gaming is so good. So what I do is I like to lure these guys into a corner and then once they get close, use sucrose, stack them all up. And once they're all stacked, this is where the fun begins. You switch to Klee, 
and you just go, you just go bonkers, like, what the f what is this? Wait, wait, I'm actually doing more damage than I expected. I just saw like a bunch of numbers, so they're like, huh, is Klee broken? So what do I think about Klee since she's been out for a year? Well, to start, she's really hard to play properly. Keyword, properly. Like, I'm actually serious. She is really, really hard to play. Animation canceling, stamina, passive spark. There's probably something like 10 more things I forgot to talk about. And I actually like that Klee is hard to play because that's actually my preferred way to play Klee. If I'm not machine gunning, doing quick hops or canceling frames, Klee just feels weird to play, but that's just me. I'm going to be real with you. I have no idea how Klee works on mobile Genshin. That sounds like ass. Uh, what else is there? She's very squishy. I feel like a gust of wind can kill my Klee any minute during an abyss run. Now, do I recommend her? I don't know, think for yourself. I don't regret pulling her, and I think she's good. Not shit, not OP. That's basically all I have to say. Later. <laughs>